Leviathan here, while the price of supercars tend to decrease dramatically over time, the price to maintain and service a supercar does not. So today I'm going to share what my practical experience has been like maintaining and servicing the McLaren 650S. So let's go for a cruise. McLarens all come with a three-year unlimited factory warranty and you have the option to extend the warranty by up to 12 years. The cost to extend the warranty is approximately $5,000 and given that the warranty on the McLaren has just expired, I consider the $5,000 to be an ongoing cost to maintain the McLaren. Let's talk about service. The McLaren 650S is not just a practical car to drive, but it's also a practical car to maintain. The requirement is annual or 10,000 miles. Every annual service interval has a very specific list of checks that the car must go through. For example, changing the fluids, oil, coolant, and so forth, as well as wiper blade inspections, roof service, fob battery replacement, and so forth. Obviously, depending on the mileage of the car. Depending on the region and dealership, there is some flexibility when it comes to the cost of the service. It could range anywhere from as low as $1,500 to as high as $3,000 US dollars. So the cost to maintain and service a McLaren annually is $8,000. That includes the $5,000 for the extended warranty as well as the $3,000 annual service. So that's approximately 1% of the total value of the car. Some may think that's somewhat practical and reasonable given the value of the car, while the majority are probably going to think that's insane for all what you're essentially getting is an oil change and a few computer inspections and it really shouldn't be that high. Which is true, McLaren does mark up the cost of the parts and their labor is notably more expensive than your normal dealerships. You may think that every petrol head should essentially do the oil changes on their own. Theoretically, that makes sense, but practically, no. Let me give you a few examples. The first time this car went in for a service, what we thought would be just a regular maintenance turned out to require some drastic mechanical repair. There were significant issues with the suspension. Then the second time it went in for a basic service, we found a lot of fluid leaks. I'm talking about transmission, oil, and suspension and your typical petrol head would not be able to diagnose these issues so what is the mclaren experience like well i will be completely honest and say it is brilliant all what i have to do is leave the key with instructions and mclaren will come over collect the car load it and then deliver it to their dealership and what's great is once the car arrives, I'll get an email saying that my car has safely arrived and it's going through the service process. And when it comes to the attention to detail, it's phenomenal. They even synchronize my clock. So let's put this all together. My one year cost to maintain and service a McLaren is $8,000 but we're making one critical assumption and that is we are assuming that the car has some degree of warranty coverage. I did some rough calculation and approximately would have costed me over $50,000 based on all of the repairs the car had to go through in the past one year. And I would have been making this review with a few less organs that I would have sold on the black market and my one year experience with this car, despite some of the reliability issues, has still been phenomenal. And I have absolutely no regrets buying or renting this car. So over the past year, I've put approximately 5,000 miles. And honestly, every single mile put a smile on my face. And I think that's really the most important part of this car. It's been a phenomenal experience. And I still can't believe I get to drive a McLaren 650S and this is truly my dream car. Thanks for watching. Until next time.